currently stood in the uh, 2015 Serpentine Pavilion designed by Salvas Cardo. I've led the technical delivery along with David Glover. AECOM have provided structural engineering, mechanical, electrical and public health along with project management and cost consultancy. When we first saw the design in January, initially we could see that the, the, the key challenges were to deliver a structure and a form uh, and a piece of architecture that was both translucent but colourful and also be able to give some rigidity and some flexibility in the form, which is what the architect was looking for. We very quickly moved to using ETFE and using digital printing to be able to provide the architect with almost an infinite palette of colours. The structural frame is kind of split into to sort of two different forms. We've got curves for arches and we've got uh, portal frames, which are the more faceted frames. The, the frames are formed from steel circular hollow tubing, varying in sizes from 60 mil all the way up to sort of 115 mil for the main sort of transfer elements. One of the most complex parts of this design is actually the floor slab. One, the geometry is very, very complicated and it, it follows the ETFE lines of the, the steel structure above. Uh, there's also a fall of about 500 mil to the centre and then we've got this sort of steps level approach as you come through the different layers of the structure, which we've then put a scallop on to make it more difficult. So effectively we built the, the lower slab, then we built the upper slabs and then we put the, the scallop on afterwards. Underneath the slab is an attenuation layer that deals with the, the rainwater and groundwater moving it away from the design. Um, it also is, works as a raft and is, is providing the foundations for the structure that we're currently still on. The real key challenge is how do you develop a relationship with, a, with an architect in a very, very short space of time? Because we only have six weeks to do the design and get to planning and then we get six weeks to get manufacturing um, complete to go to site. And so you only have really a couple of weeks to really form a bond with the architects and, and really galvanise a team to, to work to one goal which is delivering this pavilion on time.